Hey, I'm Sincere from Kids Want to Know, the show Kids Rule. Right now, we have an amazing interview ahead of us. A power couple of 35 years. I need you guys to give a huge round of applause for Gil and Renee Beavers. LV Magazine, books. Tell us, what's your, tell, tell me your story. Well, our story starts, we were both born in Detroit and we actually went to Detroit Public Schools. We had a summer job and we met at a summer job. Wow. I saw him and he got my attention and I wanted to get his. And so I rolled my pencil off the desk and he walked over to me and I said, I was going to say hi to you, but I wasn't sure if you would respond. And he said, I always say hi to lovely young ladies. And I was smitten. <laughs> now I was only, we were 14, 15, 14 yeah. and 15. So I can't say I had game, but it was something. That, that's just what came to hey, mind. It, it, it worked for 35 years. <laughs> well, actually we start, we dated for three years before we got married. So we've yep. actually been together for 38 years. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Nah, give them a round of applause. <laughs> I, I have to. Wow, 38 years, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's like. A, a lifetime. That, that's almost a triple lifetime. of me. <laughs> it's a triple of me. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And tell me, how did you guys start a business? I mean, you have an app. Yes, we do. Tell us about it. Well, the app is really designed because we've worked in marriage ministry for 19 years. Okay. And we started to realize that while the relationship space is very profitable, mm -hmm. you have to kind of niche down and really know what you're going to focus on. So mm -hmm. while everybody else is focusing on the problem, we realize that dating apps aren't going away. Okay. So why not create a pre-dating app to help people get prepared for dating? And okay. so that's what the app is really designed to do, is help you to know if you're even ready to date. So what got you guys really into that field? You know, when we first got married, we were 21, literally. And that's young for a lot of people, even in this day and times. And, and people just always seem to come to us even at a young age asking us, well, how do y'all seem like y'all get along and stuff like that at a young age? And we were like, you know what? Because I came <laughs> from a divorce home growing up. And, and my parents were never married. You know, okay. so we really didn't have great examples of that. So when people started asking us about dating and just being in a relationship, we said, you know what? All we can do is share with you what we know. Mm. And based on that, we said, you know what? We don't want to see other people have the divorce types things happen in their life. So if we say we can contribute something and help them with their relationships, why not do it? So we just start reverse engineering some of the things that we started doing and, and sharing with other couples. And it just took off from there. And that was 19 years ago. Yeah. 19 years. And so during the pandemic, we realized that people weren't going out. So we started doing virtual sessions with couples. Okay. And from that, we started working with other couples all over the country. So we wrote our first book. And so we realized that while people may not go into a church or they may not go and see a therapist, they still needed help. So we decided that we would take what we knew and put it into platforms that people use, social mm -hmm. media, books, podcasts, um, television. Gil's background is IT. And so mm -hmm. he's kind of converted me into a geek. Yeah, she's oh. a nerd, y'all. She's a nerd now. <laughs> I had to convert her, but she's a nerd. Yeah. So you're, you guys are kind of like the yin and the yang to yeah. each other. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes, absolutely. And she's she's the better yang. I don't know if that means I'm a little yin. But Yo, he really has game. He says he's a <laughs> he, he, Listen, I, I get credit where it's due. Well, you know, what we realized is that one of the things that we realized even when we were young was to outserve each other and to be kind and compliment each other. Mm -hmm. And just saying kind words, because for me, my love language is words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. So no matter how many gifts you give me, if you speak to me harshly, it's gonna cancel the gift. And mm -hmm. so when I realized that and I talked to him about that, we just began to learn to operate in what worked for each other. Mm -hmm. You know, it was so great about that. Even when you are in a dating stage, that's even, you can serve your person that you're in a date with. I mean, that you're just going through relationship with or getting to know each other, those types of things. You can just outserve them, you know, opening doors for them, open the, you know, car doors for them or the sure doors. Or, yeah, exactly. And so I think that's again. a lost art. And that's great that you know that, man. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. a, 
that's a lost art right there. Yeah, a lot, I, a lot of people I know actually don't know the art of chivalry. Like they let uh, the female walk on the outside the of the street, yeah. and that that's what bothers me. You cannot even, yeah. I, even if you're not my girlfriend. Yeah. As me as a as a male, yeah, I, as my a father always told me like have a female on the inside. Yep. And even my friends, they know. Like I had to one time physically pick up my friend and, move and, her put, and put her there like. Yeah. And they probably looked at you like, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. I, I had to tell her like, it, it's, it's just, a, I don't know. It's it, protection. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. That's it, awesome that you know that. That's awesome. Th thank my dad, he taught me. Yeah. Dad's that's, room? And you practice it. Yeah. That's the that's important even, part. Even yeah. more important. Wow, this is, this, let's see. You made the app and how is that going? It's going really well because I think that most people, they don't know. They, I hear people say, well, dating apps don't work. And so I'm like, well, is it that the app isn't working or maybe it's that you are not working? Mm -hmm. So helping people to really recognize the areas of themselves, mm -hmm. they need to be adjusted. It kind of gives you some, it's kind of like it gives you like a cheat, a cheat sheet. Mm -hmm. So the app is really designed so that before you start dating and saying the dating apps don't work, it helps you to see well, maybe it's your communication style. Maybe it's your emotional intelligence. Maybe it's just, you're not ready to date yet. Mm -hmm. And so it kind of just kind of lets you look at yourself so that when you go out there, you can present the best version of yourself. For us, it's always been big on personal assessment. You really got to know yourself. If you don't really know yourself and what you like and what you don't, what you like and what you don't like, how can you really even be in a relationship with someone not knowing that. Wow, that that just really <laughs> messed with my brain. Yo, I I'm I had to I had to double take on that. <laughs> that really just messed with my brain a lot cuz I, I it, it shows how like my generation doesn't really know themselves and how they how a lot of people talk about they need to go to therapy and stuff mm -hmm. and but in reality, you just need to look at like maybe the negatives or the positives in yourself and how you can display it out to others. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Wow. That, that is like the basics of it. Just knowing the the right and the wrong, what you like, what you don't like. Everything from like you, we were talking about music before we got started from music all the way to your, your favorite, favorite books color. and your yeah. favorite shows or whatever it is. That's the part that you should be doing with people that you're just dating. It's just the little things. Really. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the little small things become big things yeah and because we ignore the small things then the big things become more of an issue yeah then so we end up having more growth areas than we have strengths and so just like you said your dad taught you about being shriveled there's things your parents teach you and you may not think that it's valuable but if you practice the small things that they teach you the bigger things will be a lot easier and it's looked at like him teaching me that to uh, now to other people it seems like a, a good thing mm -hmm. oh it is a very good thing they look at it like it's something that they haven't seen before like it's alien almost yes yeah. because well, it's a lost art like yeah, you said and, and having and to me the thing that i think that the app does is because so many people like my grandparents when they left there was no example they didn't write a book they didn't create an app they don't have videos so all the things that they believed in is gone mm -hmm. so for us we felt like this would be a way for us to make, everyone always talks about this make generation, it. but what are you doing to help this generation? Mm -hmm. So not just teaching your children, but by you knowing that now you're teaching other people. And so that's why we created the app and the books because we realized that sometimes people just have questions and they may not feel comfortable asking their parents. Mm -hmm. They may not feel comfortable asking their friends, but you can get together around an app or a book and say, hey, you know, you can ask questions and you can get answers and create conversation around it. A, a community like that's not like judgy. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. A safe place. Because we applaud you for this because when you say kids want to know, there's a lot of questions out there that younger people want to know about. And if you, you gotta have a source to go to. So just like contributing your time, your effort, your energy, your parents doing this mm -hmm. is exactly contributing to other people and yeah. getting them, their knowledge. That's cool. Yeah. And to piggyback off what you said, one of our main questions, and this is a question where everyone gets asked, what should kids want to know about you? I think they should wanna know that success is a responsibility. And while we've been married for a long time, we realize that that's not just for us, it's also for other people who look like us and people who don't look like us. Because if you only think about success as being just yours, who are you helping? Mm -hmm. So for us, a big part of what motivates us is we want to leave a legacy of healthy relationships for people who may not have grown up in a two-parent home mm -hmm. or who may not have seen what real healthy relationships look like. And I would say, you're never too young to start thinking about relationships because you're in them from the time you're born. 
with mom and dad. You're always going to be in the relationships. But just like us getting together when we were 14 and 15 and all these years later, we're still together. It's because we thought about how we treated each other, even when we were younger kids, you know, just learning how to be in relationship with each other. And we just have just continued that same pattern. Nothing is really different. We just doing the same thing we did when we got started. Just the copy stuff, and paste. That's it. The same things that our parents taught us, the things that the good stuff. My grandma used to say, eat the meat and spit out the bones. Mm -hmm. That means the good stuff she taught you, keep. The stuff yeah. that was like, eh, kind of a little wonky. Yeah. Forget about it and just apply it. That's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. There you go. That's a favorite saying of mine. So, like, people in my age, I'm 18, mm -hmm. and maybe even a little bit younger, around my age range, how would we get it to work? Would, like, do I have to, when I when I figure out what I have to do, do I go and bring someone to the app, or do I just, like, work it out after I find someone and work it out? Uh, just please, break it through. How do we work this app? Well, First of all, the app is really designed for you to discover you. Mm. So it's before you start dating. So, and, and unfortunately, if you're already dating and you're not getting success, the app is also can be used then. But you basically go through the app. The app is um, in both of the app stores mm -hmm. and you would download it. And the first thing you would do is you do an assessment. You have three, select, three of them to select from. You have the communication assessment, you have the um, emotional intelligence assessment and then the dating readiness assessment. So you, let's just say you get the app and you're like, okay, you know what? Right now, I just want to see if I'm ready. And you do that and it's going to give you a different, it's going to give you three different rankings as where you are in the process. And then from there, you, there's a devotional where you can go in there every day and read and spend time and just kind of really develop your ability to have a better understanding of yourself and okay. your faith. And then there's also, um, there's communication assessment, emotional intelligence, your uh, communication style. Because sometimes you're struggling with, like Gil. Gil is a thinker and I am a director. So sometimes your communication style can be the problem. And so you kind of think about what are the areas where I failed and then I can kind of use this to kind of adjust mm -hmm. or I can use it when I'm starting out. So let's just say you're like seven or eight and you, have someone you like and you're thinking about well how do I learn about me and so it really just depends on the what your age and what you're looking for so you can use it when you're first starting out but you don't want to wait till you're already in a relationship you know you want to use it in the beginning mm -hmm. I think it's really important because when you think about where are you learning the things you're learning before you even get to dating really you have to focus on you first Mm -hmm. When you focus on you first, that is actually getting you prepared to go into the dating cycle or even thinking about, am I ready to date? Because we have, you, you may have had something happen in your life that maybe you need to work through because if you're not as complete as you can be going into dating, then it's going to cause difficulty as you're dating. And I oh. think as parents, you're like, you know, your kid, your 11 year old comes to you and says, I think I'm ready to date. This is a good way f as a parent, you can say, well, let me just have you try this assessment to see if you're ready you know so it's like it gives the parent the ability to kind of maybe let them hear the same thing from a different voice mm -hmm. and so there's lots of ways it can be used so it's it's really useful for all ages not just yes yeah. yeah, absolutely yes. especially someone who's already in the dating cycle and maybe you have a history of dating the same type over and over and over again and not getting the same getting any success and you wonder what's wrong why what am i missing it goes back to you you have to look at me first to see why am I picking the same type? We always sell a lot of younger people. Sometimes your picker may be broke. Yeah. And if your mm -hmm. picker's broke, guess what you're going to do? You're going to repeat the same thing over mm -hmm. and over and over again and not really know how to resolve it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I might have to use this app. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you need, you need to get through some things. Yeah. yeah. And it, it just prevents... I just think that, you know, while, you know, dating is something, we always say dating is something you do for a lifetime. Because even though we've been married for 35 years, we're still dating. Absolutely. So you think of dating as just for young people, but let's just say you're 50 years old and maybe your spouse has passed away or, you know, dating is something you're going to do for a lifetime. And so you want to learn to do it well and, and learn the difference between dating and going out because mm. there is a difference. Yeah. You know, and so it just helps you to kind of have a better understanding of what you should expect going into dating. Okay, okay. Do you, and besides the app, you also have 
uh, books and you're even on um, this LV's mag. Oh, hey, look, <laughs> that, that's me. <neat>. Yeah. <laughs> you're on the um, LV. That's the second coolest thing. This yeah. is the coolest. Aww, this is the so coolest. Sweet. Thank you. This is the second. Yeah, we love That's me. That's amazing. And you have a book. It's called the single, the singles blueprint. Yeah. What What is the book about, really? Well, the I, I, the thing I love about it, first of all, you see how small it is. Yeah. It's like almost the size of a phone. Mm. To get rid of the excuse, because we live in a tweet society, yeah. so a big book with most young people wouldn't even think about reading it. But something that small, like if you're in New York and you're riding on the subway, you can put it in your pocket and take it with you. Mm -hmm. uh, on the go book. Yeah, it's an on the absolutely. go book. I it love is. those type of books. It yeah. is. It is. It's a quick read, but it's an. It makes you stop and think. It's places in there for you to write. It asks questions mm -hmm. of you because we really believe that um, you cannot give yourself away if you don't know who you are. And so we're really big on you really getting to know yourself so that when you go into a relationship with somebody, you know what you're really giving them because you know what you want and what you're looking for. And the book talks about things like the difference between dating and um, going, going out. out. Mm -hmm. It talks about red flags. Mm. Um, Conflict resolution, interest versus entry, <laughs> intuition, and values and character. And the good thing about it is it's a blueprint. You know, you think about building a house. If you're going to build a relationship, you need to go buy a plan just like you mm -hmm. would building a house. Well, this gives you a framework. That's all it is, a framework of things that you can think about, things that you can even talk to someone that you're dating. Yeah. You can have a, a good open conversation about yeah. what are your characters? What are your values? What are you interested in? What are your goals? What are your dreams? How do you handle conflict? What is your parents like? What is your, your family life like? Uh -huh. All those things that... Sometimes you forget about when you're in the intrigue stage is what we call it. When you're intrigued by someone, yeah. Yeah. You, you sometimes you don't think about all the other stuff because yeah. you're so focused on the visuals that you don't even think about how's this person's character or how's their how are their values. How's and those their are the temperament. Things, yeah, how, yeah, those are the things that really matter. It's just like how what you said to, in comparison, like making a house. It's like from outside can look good, but on the inside it has Absolutely. to be. It has to have like good pipes, sound. good. Yes. With everything. Exactly. It, you work on your infrastructure first. Yeah. And that's what this is really designed to do. Wow. Wow. That's really cool. And you guys are, you, oh, and again, you're from Texas, right? Yes. San Antonio. Well, from Detroit, been, reside in yes. Texas. Yes. Yes. And this is your first time out here in New York. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is, was one of Renee's bucket list trips. I can't say it was one of the places I wanted to go. It was on a list, but this is like at the top of her list. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mine, it was like, yeah, I would go visit it just because you see it in all the movies and all that kind of stuff, all the landmarks. It's, it's just so much. You can't do it in, we've been here four days, three days, and yes. you can't see it all in. Yeah. You need at least two weeks, I think, because there's some other places we want to go that- we Probably even have, more. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say longer, because yeah. we've, you know, we've lived all over over the country mm -hmm. and overseas and just to see the biggest city in the U US and to see it in person it looks Doesn't like seven justice. cities in one city. <laughs> yeah it's it's a lot the cityscape is one like borough seven. one oh, borough gosh. alone is yes. it's, it's just it's too massive much. Yeah. it's massive and it's just the energy it's the you see people working hard you see them you know moving forward you see them progressing and just to see that it's just it's good to see people working hard for something yeah versus expecting someone to give them something yeah so i i just i love the energy i love to see people in motion and yeah. moving forward that's all you see in new york is just progression everything straight. is moving yes every it's literally the city that never see, sleeps yeah. man we were in Times square i think it was it was in the afternoon on sunday but then we looked at it online at night after the billboard and everything busy. went up and it was more people down there at like 10 11 o'clock at night so wait wait whoa whoa you said the billboard what do you mean yeah oh yeah yeah well we we came here on we got here after the flight got canceled like we were talking about earlier once we made arrangements we got here the billboard that we did to promote the book the actually, billboard that you did whoa wait yeah it, oh answer. but i have to give it to renee that's that's all renee's doing you know she she well you tell them about it well, the billboard was really designed because we realized that um, people need to know who you are and what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And billboards are a way to kind of passively advertise what you're doing mm -hmm. and let people know who you are. And plus get people around and get excited. Yeah. So we did a billboard in Times Square. Wow. And it was to see yourself that big. On a 55 it's by very, screen. <laughs> very humbling. But it was a lot of fun because, yeah. you know, we kind of made it a part of the community. You know, we went live and let people see it and we sent the link to people and they got to see it. So everybody, even people who did, couldn't come to New York, got to come to New York. 
Wow. A billboard in Times Square? Yeah, yeah. it was awesome. Wow. It awesome. was very humbling. Did you guys do any meetups? No, we, we didn't do a meetup here because just because of the time constraint. Okay. We just yeah. don't have enough time. We won't yeah. be here. Got to go back to the Texas and do our thing, our normal other part of our lives yeah. there. We have, a, we have book signings set up throughout the country. Mm -hmm. The next one is in Texas. Okay. And so um, we, we're just be, we're setting them out throughout the year. So we will be doing meetups, more book meetups, but also just to meet up with the people in our community. Because our biggest community is actually in New York. Yeah, wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, 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 yeah. that's and crazy. we're in Texas. Yeah. Go I, figure. You know, yeah. um, I'm not trying to be um, a little GM, if you guys know what that means, but uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I think that's a sign to. Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> just, you know. You know what? If, if you guys don't get, if, if you could figure out a way to turn off the snow. <laughs> If you can turn the snow off, we, we might come. Okay, so you want me to be honest? I'll be real. When it snows, it snows. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't be crazy. It just be like flurries and maybe like an inch or two. But in the city, it's not it's not wait, wait, too wait, terrible. Wait, wait, you said an inch or two. That's just too <laughs> inch or two too much. Renee is not coming to the call. I, I can cannot say take She's it. She's not doing it. I can take 100 degrees. But when it gets below 80, I'm like, oh, my goodness, that's freezing. And you know what? That's really me, too, and I live out here. Yeah, yeah, and we grew up in Detroit, so we're familiar with snow. But, nah, we, we've been gone. Yeah. We've been in the heat too long. You know what? I can I can really respect that because when it's it, it, it gets it gets cold. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, we'll come back and visit, though, yeah. when it's warm. I want to come and see the ball drop. I want to see the Macy's Day Parade. Mm. But I'm going to have to watch it from TV. Okay. Okay. A little while. Because it's the cold. <laughs> It's, it's cold, yeah. yeah I, I can cold. understand. Some days it could be like, hey, especially in the winter, it could be like Mother Nature's just, it's, yeah. it's, she's all crazy. She's doing what yeah. she's doing. Because she, she'll one day, like, it'll be November and it'll be like, hey, it's 50 degrees out, so it doesn't feel that right, cold. Right, right. right. It's cold, but it's not really cold. So it's like, hey, small jacket, maybe a sweater. Yep. Yeah. And then, and then the next Psych. day, <laughs> let's say you think the same thing 50 degrees and it's 50 degrees of straight oh, oh no 10 yeah. degrees no no that's a crazy temperature change and i live by the water so oh you know a, so you get yeah so we know called? drift what is you it? get the the, the lake, lake effect yeah, lake effect lake snow effect. Yeah, no, no, not even the lake, ocean. Oh, oh, ocean, so you get Atlantic the Atlantic Ocean. Water. Oh, it's man. cold. Oh, no. Like, yeah, it's real. Like no, you, thank you. You no, be walking. You. You're, hey, it's hot. You're, like, you're going one block. It's 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 so hot. It, right. You go to the next block. It's so cold. Yeah. It's no in between. Yeah, the weather can be real disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What is any dating advice would you give to kids out there? Mm -hmm. You go first. I think the most important thing is to realize one of the things we put on everything, on our cups, on our t-shirts, you are more than enough. Mm. So you go into dating not because you feel like I'm going to be a better person because of or with this person. Mm -hmm. You're going into dating and you're going into relationships because you realize how valuable you are all by yourself and mm -hmm. you want to share that with someone else. So don't look at dating as a way to complete yourself. Look at it, uh, dating as a way to share who you are with somebody else who knows who they are as well. And I would say, really, in this day and time, know the difference between infatuation and interest. No, it's one thing to be intrigued and, and, and somebody get your attention, but you really want to get to know them and know who they are as a person because the looks are going to stay and you're going to get over that and you're going to get past that and that butterfly effect in your stomach is going to pass. And then you're gonna wanna know what is this person really like that I'm trying to be in a relationship with. You really wanna know that. So focus on interests, our interests that we are together and what do we have, common values or our character. Focus on that because when they look good, they, they stay looking good. So mm -hmm. you can pass it. You're so sweet. <laughs> and beauty, I, fades. <laughs> beauty fades. Beauty fades. Beauty fades. <laughs> mm, I, well. Nah. It just changes a little bit. It change. I think physical beauty, maybe, yeah. but natural. Exactly. Mental beauty, because it will See, always be there. Like yeah. you just said, the mental beauty, that has nothing to do with the physical appearance. Yeah. That's all on the inside. It is. So I focus agree. on the inside. Yeah. And one more question. Sure. Ed, do you have any inspirational words for kids out there? My what I, what I love to say is you are more than enough. Because I think that at the root of most of our problems, it stems from us not believing in ourselves, us not knowing that mm -hmm. we're valuable. So we're using all these things to find value, mm -hmm. which that is going to leave you feeling 
um, empty. And so when you know that you're enough all by yourself, it just makes you walk into a room and you show up as your real self. Mm. And I would say we sit in it at every time we talk or teach or anything, we're stronger together. Because just like this, as we collaborate and talk to other people and just do things as a community, not just your community or our community, but as a community together, everybody's going to get better just if we share the information we know. Wow. This has been an amazing interview. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. I have to oh, shake my hand. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for you're having us. You're an amazing young man. Your parents have done a great job. And Thank what you. you're doing is not just going to help you, it's going to help all the people around you. Thank you. And I would like to have you as a friend. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I love it. I love you guys. I, I'm going to cry. I'm crying. Oh, that's okay. But you guys, too, like, you guys have been doing this since your 20s, and you've gone three decades, your whole almost four in two years yeah. mm -hmm. of just helping people. So it's like yeah. you guys are not only an inspiration to others, but to me as well. I oh, we appreciate thank that. You. Thank you. This has been an amazing interview, and you guys need to check them out. Where can we find you guys at? Um, you can find us on all social media platforms at Rich Relationship Refuge. Mm -hmm. um, the app is in the Apple and Google App Store, mm -hmm. and the book can be purchased at Barnes & Noble. You guys heard it here. I'm Sincere with Gil and Renee, and we're out. Peace. Good job. Good job. Ugh. Eat a bomb. Great job, Sincere. No, that was great. You did a great job. And we're back. Uh, I call it a tongue twister. Yeah. I called you. Did you check? Check. I'm guaranteed 100%. Right now. Hey, that's a good answer. <laughs> it is an answer. It is? Huh. It is. It's correct. Oh, now we See? That's right. they, they, they got it. Both of them, they're in it together. Come on, come on. I know I'll be talking, but come on. Come on. You are drinking, you know.